just like Guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie O. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Hot off the press, Maybelline finally decided to expand. Finally, one of their most popular complexion products to date. I feel like I've been hearing about people talk about this concealer ever since YouTube started. I could never try it because there was never a shade for me, like not even a close shade, not even a highlight shade, not even close, sis. Like. None. But they recently added five more shades of those. So today I'm gonna be trying those out as well as their Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This is one of their newest products. As for the concealers, they now come in 12 shades and the foundation now comes in 16 shades. Well, I think it always came in 16 shades. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna be sharing my thoughts, demoing them, and giving you guys the tea. That's what we do on the channel. Let's roll right into it. I'm also gonna sprinkle in some other makeup stuff. I got some place to go. So I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of tutorial in there, you know, just feeling generous today. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You're, you're, you're totally welcome. But first, you better make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I'm judging you. Make sure you're also a part of the Snapchat Brigade. You're also following that Instagram page. Everything is Jackie Ina. I make it so easy. I've got quite a bit of goodies to play in. We're gonna do some shade matching. We're gonna do some playing. We're gonna do some blah, blah, blah. Maybelline sent me the last four of the Superstay foundation shades so that I could play around and test them. I have, <gasps> Oh my God, praise the Lord. A drugstore foundation with a pump. Oh my, I thought I would never see this day. Maybelline, I'm, I'm giving you points just for that alone, okay? That was honestly, to my surprise, not what I was expecting. Like I just was twisting this off and was expecting to see the glass bottle like the Fit Me foundation and I got this and I'm just, is, am I the only one shocked at this? I don't know what other, I don't know. It's probably done before. Just don't, don't mind me, okay? I don't get the luxury of indulging in things like this because there just aren't a lot of drugstore foundations that work on my skin tone, but we gonna get into that a little bit later. So the first color that they sent me is 355 Coconut and that's actually my color in Fit Me. Let's see if the shade transfers over and then hopefully it does, you know? And then if it doesn't, we'll try the other ones. I feel like that's a bit red, but unfortunately that's usually something that I have to settle for with drugstore foundations. They're just always, they're almost always more cool tone. And I don't know why, but you know what? I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna roll with it. That does look like it's pretty close to what would be my color match. Just not the best undertone, but I'm gonna try on the other ones anyway, just so that you can see what they look like. You know, just use me as a reference, cheat cheat. The next shade is Warm Coconut. Let me find out they trying to do some, okay. I would rather use this color more than I would this one. That's actually kind of interesting because right now, to my knowledge, there aren't really any varying undertones of any of Maybelline's other foundation lines. Like most of them are, are pretty, cool tone. So it's nice that they added like basically an in-between shade for coconut. Okay, so this is Mocha. Mocha, what you got? You know every company got a Mocha. Mocha's cute though. You know, I think it would be nice if they actually put like the shade description on the bottle too. I feel like for drugstore foundations, they rarely do that. Like, can you tell me if it's yellow? Can you tell me if it's red? Even if it's wrong, sometimes the shade description is too long, can be wrong, no, okay? Kylie Cosmetics. But it's just nice to kind of have that as a guideline. As far as this shade here, what was this? Mocha, our little sister Mocha. It's definitely got a little bit more depth than the coconuts. And the last color that I have, which is also the darkest one, is Truffle, number 362, which actually doesn't look that far off compared to Mocha, which is interesting. I'm gonna roll with Warm Coconut. I feel like that might be somewhat of a closer match compared to the other ones. It's got a little bit less red compared to the standard coconut. The foundation just based on the website. Okay, let's go back to the Ulta website. Where's she at? Okay, so according to the Ulta website, this is $11.99. I feel like that's really good. Nowadays, these drugstores are really like coming for our throats with these prices. Actually, let me take that back because I feel like Fit Me is like six, seven dollars depending on where you shop. But this is one fluid ounce though. I mean, in hindsight, $11 for an in general is really not much to complain about, but also the ingredients do matter. So you may want to consider that because some drugstores be cutting corners sometimes. I'm just saying. But it is $11.99, one full fluid ounce. Ooh, they having a buy one, get one 50% off, two items to qualify. Y'all better hop on, get on Ulta. Link in the description box, okay? I'm going to moisturize using my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Oh, I love the way this cream smells. It smells so good. I'm actually a huge fan of all of these water gels and how so many more brands are coming out with them now. Tatcha has one. I mean, it's really expensive, granted. It's 
it's really expensive. You don't necessarily have to splurge on that one if you can't. Lancome has one. Glam Glow just recently launched one and it's like, I wanna eat it, it smells so good. I'm going out tonight, so this makeup better do something. I mean, it better, like I'm expecting a $7,000 tax return from this foundation, like that kind of situation, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my skin always just feels so plump and hydrated after water gel. I'm ready to try this foundation. Everyone's comparing to this to the new Huda Beauty foundation, which I think are pretty big claims because that's a very popular product. As for primer, I'm gonna use my very expensive and very bougie NARS Pore and Shine Primer. Isn't it funny how we do all that moisturizing, and get our skin all glowy and then put mattifying primer on top? Like what's wrong with us? Maybe it's just me, okay. I'll, I'll take the L. I cannot for the life of me find my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Well, I'm instead gonna powder with my Laura Mercier powder. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Jackie. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. I usually put powder right on top of my primer because it sets it nicely. It helps control the shine throughout the day. I also feel like I end up using less foundation because it adds a light amount of coverage. Please do this with the sponge though. I see people like brushing the powder. It's not the same. Pressing it in with the damp sponge really like pushes it into the skin. So you really, 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 I feel, get maximum results out of this technique. As for the claims for this foundation, it's supposed to be non-pore clogging. It also says it's oil free. It's definitely claiming to be a full coverage, which I feel like I've seen that on every, I have watched some reviews. I do sometimes do a little bit of research, just a little bit. Um, and it did look full coverage to me, so I'm gonna go with that. It's supposed to provide breathable, wear and it also is supposed to blur the skin, even out texture, which I mean, that's what foundation is supposed to do anyway. Like, I mean, why would we be giving points for found? That's literally what base does. It's supposed to even out your skin. So if you are a product that's labeled as a base and you don't do that, just go out of business, bye. Don't even bother. So let's do the one pump test and see how much we get. That's a pretty generous pump. That was just the first one. And let's just see how much we get which so far looks like quite a bit. I think that sometimes the mistake that we make when trying on, ooh. Okay, that's quite a bit of coverage. Okay, okay, I see you. I feel like it's important to try a new product gently because that's a mistake that we make often with foundations is just using too much and then not really, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm guilty of it too. Products like these I feel are meant to be built up slowly because this does appear to have a pretty good amount of coverage. This looks and feels like it's kind of meant to be like the grown and sexy version of Fit Me because it definitely isn't as watery as Fit Me. It isn't as transparent as Fit Me. And it's, I think got a pretty decent amount of coverage. What do you guys think? I'm still seeing some of my blemishes in that area. This area is perfect. You know what? I'm gonna add more foundation anyway because that's just what I'ma do. Oh. BT dubs, I did forget to mention this earlier. This is a silicone based foundation and I've been seeing a lot of talk about the foundation oxidizing. So what I'm gonna do to prevent that because that normally happens a lot with drugstore foundations is I'm gonna try to keep the layers to a minimum even though I want to add more like a full two pumps. This is my second pump by the way. I'm only gonna use half of that and I'm just going to I'm just gonna leave it like this. I really don't wanna OD on the amount of product I use because I feel like sometimes that is what really kind of triggers oxidation even more. So compared to my neck and my chest, at least what I'm seeing on camera, it does look quite on the pink side. Remember back in the day when everybody would get shade matched at MAC and they made every black girl, damn near every black girl was NW45 at one point but like we kind of made it work. This I feel is a workable red. And if you guys watch too much mouth then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Cause I feel like every black girl has that struggle. It's like the workable orange, the workable red. It looks good now, God forbid it darkens as I continue doing my makeup. I'm hoping that it doesn't cause I really have to go out tonight and I'm trying to look like a 12 out of 10. I'm not trying to look like an eight out of 15, okay? So far I think the coverage is Absolutely phenomenal though. The coverage looks freaking flawless. I mean, one and a half pumps for any foundation I think is generally really good. It feels matte, but it actually feels like a comfortable matte. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not like a drying matte. It just feels like, I don't want to say satin matte either. Mm. She looking pink on camera. Let me hurry up so I can start powdering and, and even this out, okay? It also looks like they extended the Fit Me concealers, but I'm not gonna be trying these today because I've already used these in several tutorials before. They sent me the shade Tan. They sent me the shade Hazelnut. They sent me Cocoa. They also sent me Caramel. And I think Honey was the last one. Yeah, Honey. And it's just like, Ooh, baby, I, got 
I'm so excited to try the Instant Adrian Ryan Concealer. Like, low-key, it feels like you've never been able to join an exclusive club, and now they finally opened admissions for you, and now you're free to join. Like, that's how I feel about this concealer. They sent me the color Sand, which is like, I definitely can't use that. Not even close to a highlight. They also sent me Golden. Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. They also sent me Caramel, which is pretty light. Maybe I can mix that with something to brighten it up, but I don't know. I feel like I won't need that because tan looks like it actually, ooh, wait a minute, let me not speak too soon, girl. Finally. So that's what tan looks like, which looks like it'll be a pretty decent highlight shade. Look, I'm already getting orange, y'all. I'm already getting orange, but we can fix it. So the Instant Age Remind concealers are $8.99, which I think for concealers, pretty good. I would gladly walk up to the register and say, here you go, Tanzuolas. And yes, I do need the change, thank you. For a concealer, it's supposed to have a radiant, fresh finish, whatever that means. Oh. It's got goji berry in it. Why did I smell it like goji berry has a smell? What was I expected to smell? I don't even know what goji berry smells like. It's supposed to diminish the appearance of dark circles, fine lines, as well as puffiness around the under eye, which I do tend to get right. Well, that's not, that's actually just kind of like my eye shape. I'm gonna try the shade tan. I feel like tan will be a pretty good highlight shade. I do have to say I love the sponge tip applicator. Although it's not really the most sanitary if you're using this like in a makeup kit, I think that it just really makes applications super easy. I really like this color. I'm gonna wait to blend it out though to see if to make sure it's not pink it's not super creamy but it's also not super watery either it kind of reminds me of select cover-up from mac but in that form that form you know instead of like a squeezy tube so far it does look like it gives quite a bit of coverage the darkest color is hazelnut and it's just a little too close to my skin tone, I think. I feel like this dries down a little bit faster than the foundation does. Definitely feeling like a matte concealer. I am getting a little bit of a tingle under my eye. I don't know if that's like a cooling effect, like something that's supposed to happen. It very well could be like the depuffing though. Sometimes products that depuff like eye creams and concealers do that. Maybelline, you might've just did something. I think the color of the concealer is great. Wow. This looks really good. I can honestly count on one hand all of the drugstore low-end concealers that are actually worth your time and money, okay? I don't always get to try them because they don't usually come in my shade. NYX HD Concealer being the first one, I mean, they deserve an award for that, okay? <laughs> Trophies. Trophies, NYX. LA Girl Pro Conceal has definitely been knocking it the hell out of the park with like every shade you can think of. I low-key feel like Maybelline came to do what the girl should have did with this concealer though. Like I'm really feeling like I get it. I see what the hype is all about. I do see somewhat of like the radiant matte finish. I'm gonna put on a dab, a smidge more, only be not because I feel like I need the coverage. I just, I don't know. I just really enjoyed blending that out and I wanna do it again. I wanna experience it again. Don't rob me of the experience that I, I'm deserving of, okay? Blending out the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer is self care. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, that's definitely a tingle though. That's definitely a burn. I feel, I felt it again as I applied. And I definitely feel like the concealer has kind of helped balance out the foundation now. It looks much more flattering on my skin tone. I'm seeing less pink and more golden yellow, specifically in the center of my face. Out of all the brands out there on the drugstore, Maybelline is one of the very few. I mean, my very first foundation I ever tried was Dream Matte Mousse. I feel like I usually can kind of count on them when it comes to complexion products, just because they are like one of the only ones who kind of get it right. I mean, they def there's definitely room for improvement. Like we'll get into that a little bit later. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of hazelnut, the darker color, and apply that around my mouth area, AKA my mustache. This tends to be the area where I crease up the quickest. So I always kind of like add a little extra reinforcement there. Okay, so unpowdered, Unfinished makeup, I do feel like in person and on camera, my skin, actually better on camera than it does in person, but my skin looks absolutely flawless. I do feel like I could perfect the overall color of my complexion just a tiny bit, just because on camera, I'm still feeling like it's looking just a little 
a little bit cooler than I would like. Usually the easiest way for me to kind of like balance that out is taking either a yellow powder or a beige translucent powder and setting my makeup. I'm gonna use this one from Danessa Myricks. It's her Evolution Powder in the color number two. It is a super finely milled powder. It looks white on camera. It's definitely not white. It is like a buttery off-white yellow. Uh, Miss Chloe Morello stays booked and busy, okay? This is her pretty fun and fearless palette from Ciate. Mind you, she's just announced her next collab with Pixie Beauty. Congratulations, Chloe. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Mrs. I love Chloe. She's adorable. This actually has been out for a while and I just recently found mine because I, I, I don't even want to talk about it. I've been going through a lot, okay? A lot. But anyway, this palette is on the Sephora website and I'm going to be using it today. So first I'm going to take this color here, which is like a dark gray brown. I feel like a teacher right now with this brush. It's called Marron and I'm going to pop that in my crease area. I really like the quality of Ciate shadows, but yeah, their shadows are like super pigmented. They're not dusty and so far no fallout, which is great. That's always wonderful. Then I'm sweeping around the edges of that color to soften it out. Don't add any more color though. Just sweep, girl, just sweep. I'm also sweeping that color along my bottom lash line. I found these color tattoo eye chromes. I don't even know if these are still out and I've had these for a while, but I'm gonna take the color Electric Emerald and apply that, where do you think? On the center of my eye, because what are we doing? A halo eye. <laughs> that is like, on its own, super banging, super sh popping. Beauty, which is this matte green from Chloe's palette. And I'm just gonna stamp that in and, ooh, that's doing exactly what I wanted to do on top of that. Nice, nice. Wow, that's a dark color. I'm taking Moran again and blending out around the edges just to soften the look up a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my version of soft eye makeup. <laughs> I'm taking just a smidge of that Age Rewind Concealer in Hazelnut to kind of clean up around my inner eye. I feel like sometimes the matte dark shadows can get a little carried away there. And I'm blending that in with a Sigma Large Fluff E50. This is the perfect brush for this area. I'm gonna take chartreuse and I'm gonna go right over the lid. Just, just a quick little punch, you know? For my lashes, I'm gonna take Fluff Lash from Whiplash. So far, I feel like this hasn't oxidized or gotten darker any more than it was when I first put it on. Not a single oil has broken through. The other lashes finally decided to join the ceremony. Everybody, welcome, welcome. I absolutely love these liquid blushes from NARS, okay? Probably like, one of my favorite products that launched last year. It's in the color Hot Tin Roof and it's from their latest collection. You know Raisin Blush from MAC? Like if Raisin Blush came in a liquid form, I feel like it would look like this. This is looking gorgeous. Oh my God, what a stunning color. No look is complete without an Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. And of course, La Peach at that. Ah, this is honestly still just, my favorite product I've created to date, honestly. I'm only gonna keep the highlight around this area here. I know that Angel just recently launched their huge Sephora announcement. First of all, I'm so happy for him. I've been like dying to share the news, but of course it was never my news to share. And I'm so glad that like he's finally announced it to the world and, 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 it's take, and it's taken off the way that it has now. I think that a lot of people just automatically assume my Diamond Glow powders would be pushed with that Sephora launch and they are not. They are still exclusive to artistcouture.com. Blending and blending. So here's the point, okay? Here's the message we're trying to convey. When you turn that head, BOW! Do you see all of the, this just looks like I tithe. This just looks like I pray every Sunday. This just looks like I meditate every morning. This just looks like I'm a good person. Do you see what, do you see that? I feel like my skin looks great and hydrated. New favorite refreshing spray at the moment is from Too Faced Unicorn Collection. I mean, I don't know if I'm really into the whole unicorn look, but I do have to admit, I'm low-key kind of tempted to really do like a first impressions on that collection. It's not really me, but when I saw the colors, it was like, oh wow. I can totally do a video if you guys wanna see it, please let me know. I've been using a lot of this refresh mist, first of all, because it smells, ah, amazing. Okay, where do they, like, where do they come up with, who comes up with these ideas? It just smells so freaking amazing. So I'm gonna be messing with these tonight. I'm gonna take the color Amazonian and just because I have to smell it. I'm sorry, I do. I can't help it. 
everything that I've used smells so good. Okay, I feel like now that I've pulled back, I've adjusted my lighting a little bit to what I feel is a little bit more true to color. Definitely still seeing a little bit of that pink in the foundation. If this foundation oxidizes though, I am. I already said earlier how I felt about the consistency, the coverage. I think the price is eh, fair. I mean, 12 bucks. Can't be mad at that. In just in general, not in comparison to other products. I'm saying in general, $12 is like really good. As far as the shades go, I feel like in comparison to the line as a whole, it's decently fair like they definitely could have added more deeper dark shades and i'm talking about darker than mine now that i'm looking at it there's like three or four super light three to four medium three to four medium dark and then four deeper dark four dark but there's nothing on the deeper dark spectrum so you know where's ducky thoughts shade where's nima tang shade there's really nothing like i feel like these wouldn't even be highlights for her. The same goes for the concealer. I mean, the concealer ratio is a little bit better as far as like how they distributed the range of shades. But for my shade to be the darkest, that's like not, I mean, Maybelline, come on. When is any drugstore brand besides LA Girl gonna step it up and like really be that chick for the deeper dark? I like, I just don't. I don't really see it. I am overall still really happy with the overall finish and the look of the product. I'm glad that Maybelline decided to kind of add some varying undertones in there. Honestly though, I will have to say this face looks really expensive. This looks like the application of a high-end complexion product. I turned up my backlight. I feel like sometimes it looks better. Would I recommend the Maybelline Superstay Foundations? Absolutely freaking Lully. I think this was a really good product, a really good product. And Age Rewind, y'all low-key did that. But like, I'm mad it took y'all this long. Cause I feel like this was like one of their most popular products for a while. Okay, I gotta go now. I'm gonna check back in with you guys in a couple hours. I will see you in a bit. So, I'm trying a new foundation tonight. What is it? And I want, I can't, I'm not gonna say what it is yet. Okay, what is it? But, point in my review. It's okay. brown. And I want you guys to tell me. Brown. I'm not gonna say what it is. I just got that brown Any takers? Anybody care to guess what foundation I'm wearing? Your skin looks so glossy. Yeah, your skin looks really yeah. smooth. Okay. There's no texture. How no texture. Huh? How long have you been wearing it? Two hours? Okay, so it's it just a little fresh. Really good. Are you ready to be shook? It's you wanna guess? Help. Yes! Help. Help. Yes! Help. 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 You think it's L'Oreal? Okay, Jay thinks it's L'Oreal. Elsie. Okay, so Elsie. Kristen thinks it's Elsie. Never mind. I do. What, what is this moment that angels care to guess now? I'm gonna guess. It's Maybelline. I'm gonna say so Lademi says it's Maybelline. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know why I'm gonna guess that it's Nick. Okay, so Angel's gonna guess that it's Nick. Well, Lademi's the only one who guessed right. It's Maybelline! Oh, they're, good. They're, they're, they're I knew it. The girls are shocked. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <coughs> you know the drill. Here's the next video. Feel free to watch it, my fellow Americans. You know you late for school anyway. You might as well just watch one more tutorial. Why the hell not? Your boss ain't gonna notice if you go over five minutes from your lunch break. Just, just kick it, girl. Just click right there. It's right there. I got you. I'll cover for you. Don't worry. Don't trip.